Hey peeps, I'm going to show you all the materials you're going to need for acrylic pores. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I was going to go live, but YouTube had a thing that you have to have a thousand subscribers now to go live on your phone or mobile device. So, anyway, um, this is probably going to be like, I hope it doesn't cut off. If it does, I'll make part two. But, um, yeah, so... I'm going to show you all the stuff you need to have for your acrylic pour, or the stuff that I use. Um, I'm not going to do a pour in this video. I'm just going to talk about, like, the stuff that I use and the techniques and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And it's my tone. Don't mind my cloudy looking uh, flip flops. Okay, so you most likely can't see my face, but that's okay. So. I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that I use for acrylic pours or stuff that you can use. Um, I'm not a professional at this. I'm still new to this, but I've done my fair share of them. Uh, these aren't finished, but these are some that I've done. Uh, yeah, so there's that little one right there. So these are some that I've done. I hope you guys can see me. All right, so first off, um, I'm going to list all the stuff that I have. So, you're going to need, first off, you're going to need some kind of canvas. I have a little list right here of all the stuff because I didn't want to forget anything. So, um, you're going to need some kind of canvas. I'm not entirely sure what these canvases are called, um, but I see a lot of acrylic poor people using these types of canvases. You can use this just a normal canvas um, like this. Like it doesn't have to be real thick, but... Um, I haven't tried it yet. That was the wind freaking out. Okay, anyway, um, I haven't tried it yet on this type of canvas. I'm really excited to. But uh, a lot of people use these for acrylic pores. So, um, so yeah, so you're gonna need some kind of canvas. So you're gonna need water. Um, I use distilled water because I don't know. I was told that mold can grow on it over time. I don't know, but I got distilled water. Um, so I have ketchup bottles for each, uh, thing. I don't have individual paint ketchup bottles. I'm going to someday get a bunch of ketchup bottles and I already have pre-mixed paint. So, um, speaking of pre-mixed paint, I already pre-mixed, um, all of these three colors. I'm going to be doing black, purple, red for a pour. So after this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the flip cup. Um, so yeah. So, you're going to need some kind of cups. Um, you can use red solo cups. I believe these are 12 ounce. Um, you can use these little 2 ounce shot cups. Depends what size pour you're making. Um, these are really good for small little ones. Um, but anyway, so typically an average pour that you're going to be doing, you're going to use 3 ounces of artist or craft paint. Whatever kind of paint you want. Um, so these are 3 ounce cups that you can get at like Meyer or your local store. So, um, these paints right here are two ounce, so you're most likely gonna use an entire bottle of it. And my problem is I don't make enough paint, so I've kind of been cheaping out on it, but I think I got it good this time. Okay, so, um, you're gonna need some kind of pouring medium. Uh, what I use is Flood Pro Chal from Lowe's, or you can get it from like, I'm not entirely sure if Home Depot has it, but I got this from Lowe's. Um, yeah, so you're going to need some kind of pouring medium. This is the Flood Pro Troll Interior and Exterior Paint Conditioner. Um, also, other pouring mediums you can use is just water if you want to. Um, so, what I use, I use, wow, that's cool. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the echo, by the way. I'm in the pole barn. My dad's pole barn. Soon to be my art studio. <laughs> to tour, uh, torn, torn up where I got a little artsy out. Anyway, huh, okay. Um, so I use Elmer's glue, glue all. Um, you could use school glue, but I use Elmer's glue, school, uh, glue all. So, yeah. All right, so. You're gonna need some kind of silicone if you want to. Um, silicone helps cells 
Uh, torching it helps cells also get like you get bigger cells. But I use three to one silicone uh, adhesive or um, silicone drip oil lubricant. That's also what it's called. But um, yeah, I also got that at Lowe's. All this stuff I got at Lowe's except for like the cups and all that is there. So you're gonna need some kind of popsicle sticks. Um, I have. Popsicle sticks already in here. Uh, these are really good for solo cups, like big solo cups. So I'm going to be doing a dirty pour and then, um, yeah. So I'm going to be putting a video of a different YouTuber in the description and she talked about pour techniques. I'm going to name them, but I'm not going to really go into depth of them. So yeah. Um, so the paints that I'm using today, I believe these are all deco art. But um, you can, the paints that I do use are Apple Barrel and Deco Art. So there's artist paint and then there's craft paint. So this is all craft paint. Um, so you can use latex gloves. They're optional. You don't have to. I personally don't like latex. But um, yeah. So you're going to need some kind of surface to pour or wet the drip on. In my next video, I have a little rack thing that I got that I got from mom. Um, uh, a YouTuber idea. I can't think of the name of it in my head. Um, so yeah. Uh, so you're going to need some kind of plastic sheeting because it, this is pretty messy. So, yeah. This is messy messy. Alright. So, um, I really hope this doesn't come off. But, okay, anyway. So, um, this is the finish that I use. I haven't opened this yet and I haven't even tried it, but I have it. So, um, after your painting is completely dry, uh, they take two to three weeks to dry completely. Um, so, this is polycrylic water-based uh, by Mini Wax that I got also at Lowe's. And so, ketchup bottles are optional. I'm sad. Alright, so I have a gut feeling it's going to come off. So I'm going to do like probably part two of it. So I'm, that's why I'm walking back and forth to see if it cuts off. I just know where I'm at. But anyway, so this is the paint orders I put in for here. So for I kind of attempted to put a marker of how much paint and pour out I put. Um, I didn't even bother putting the lines for glue because you don't have to use glue. Um, so anyway, so first I did paint. I don't know if you can see, but I put... A little marker. Um, you can pause and look at it. Then I put water and Floetrol mix. So in here already I have Floetrol and water mixed up really good. So I put that in there. Um, then I have like if you if it feels thick to you like um let me show you the consistency you typically want. Um, you want it to drip off the popsicle stick. You don't want it to stick. So, you want it to drip off. I mean, I don't have it necessarily dripped off. I could have added more water. I have it a little thin, but I kind of want it like that because I'm kind of doing a small pour anyway. So, all right. So, yeah, there's all of that. So, um, then you add silicone. So, I only do like three drops of silicone. Basically, like almost everybody uses three drops of silicone. Um, if you mix it too much, I do a little technique where you just go, like, you do a T-shape. So you just go like that and you're done. So, yeah. So if you stir it too much, um, it creates smaller cells. So, you can, and the torch can, um, if it was, yeah, the torch can um, help create bigger cells, but you have to do it really quick. So, next video, I will. Go in the description of on that point. Squat up. Squat up enough. So, now I'm going to go over some pour techniques. Not going to get into depth up into them. Like I said, it was. Int. So, um, the YouTuber that I put uh, the description to the video in is Fluid Art by Santana Headjump. And she does really good explanation of. The what to do, like kind of, she doesn't, she doesn't really do what to do and what not to do, but she just shows you examples of the different types of pour. So, 
So you have the dirty poor, which is um, you get a chance of getting it more money. So that's the only one I'm gonna go with this quick. Okay, so you have the clean pour, you have a quick cup, a tree ring, sweat technique, and a puddle pour. So when you are pouring it into one cup, um, to do like a flip cup or whatever. Um, the lower you mix it, like the lower you go like that and pour it, the mu it doesn't mix as much. But the higher you do it, it mixes more. So, um, yeah. Here's a tip. I learned this the hard way. Um, I'm going to show you one pour that I kind of failed at for this particular reason. So, for this one, I had did a flip cup. And I didn't know that the colors would get muddy. So, make sure you're checking your primaries so you don't get muddy color looking stuff. So, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped out a little bit. I'm going to put everything in the description. So, thank you so much for watching this video. And see you in the next one. Peace.